What's up everybody, an old school pro here, and welcome back to another League of Legends video. I did a poll on my Instagram account, Instagram at an old school pro, to see what guide you all wanted to see, and most of you chose the split push guide. So here it is. Let's get into it. So to start off, what exactly is split pushing? Split pushing is a type of strategy where someone goes to a separate lane, like bot lane for example, and pushes that lane with a strong split push champion to cause or complete an objective. What makes a good split push champion though? Features of a good split push champion are that they have very good wave clear, which means they can clear an entire minion wave within a few seconds. They are good duelists and can win 1v1s, have good escapes to get away in any sticky situation, and finally, they're usually not the best in team fights. Notice how I said usually. I'll be using Udyr as my split push champion for this guide because, well, I main Udyr and have been for two years ever since I've played League. He is a perfect champion to learn how to split push, especially if you're beginning to learn this type of strategy. Okay, so what's the point of split pushing in the first place? Well, like I said before, if you send a split pusher to a lane, they can keep the enemy team busy, avoiding a real team fight since the enemy team would have to send someone to stop their push and defend. Splitting gives your team a chance to fight with higher majority or get objectives during siege. This means they can engage a team fight against a group of remaining opponents or attempt to take objectives without the need to team fight. There's different strategies in which you can split push, but I'll be focusing solely on the 1-4 strategy. What is the 1-4 strategy? Well, it's when you, Udyr, go solo in whatever of the three lanes and you clear the wave as quickly as possible while the rest of your four teammates tries to siege an objective or you try to siege an objective while splitting. Before I go any more into when you should split push, I'm going to tell you some general rules for when not to split push because that's equally as important to know. Don't split push if the enemy team can get more objectives than you and faster than you. Don't split push if your team has stronger team fighting potential in the next fight because this gives the enemy team a chance to come back and win. Which kind of goes with this next point too and that is if your champion brings more benefits to a team fight, say you're super fed or can just impact a team fight significantly, you're better off sticking with your team and securing a successful team fight. Okay, so how do you do a successful split push? You want to make sure there's some sort of team synchronization going on. If one person is doing their job while the rest of the team is senselessly roaming over the map, then you can't expect any good outcomes to happen. Your team should be creating pressure just like you are in order for this to work. Make sure you have extremely good map awareness and proper warding placed so you don't get ambushed. Typically when you start splitting, the enemy team disengages from your team and attempts to roam to your location to not only stop you from splitting, but trying to kill you, which is why it's crucial for you to know and predict where the enemy champions will be at any time so you can escape successfully. Now, let's say you don't have TP or it's on cooldown and a team fight happens. Either run to their location or continue splitting. Now only continue splitting if the objective or objectives you're getting is worth losing a whole team fight and possibly parts of your base. It would be okay in some situations, say if you trade an inhib for an inhib or inhibitor turrets and inhibs for a lost team fight, but you need to make sure you will be able to successfully siege those things in order for it to be worth it. So that's about it for my split pushing guide. I'm pretty sure I covered most of the basics, if not all. I can definitely do some more in-depth parts or split pushing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.